Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the Caregiver and Spoonie podcast. I'm your host, Jordan Banderas. And before we get started, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any episodes of the podcast. And once again, thank you for your emails, your support, the new um, subscribers, the new the new followers, the new uh, supporters. Thank you for all your feedback and, and all your questions, which I have been answering uh, throughout the episodes. So thank you and, and let's make this um, community grow, okay? Thank you for everything that you guys are doing. So let's get into today's episode. Now, I was talking to somebody about this the other day and I was like, ah, you know what? This is going to be a good episode because uh, this person was asking me, like, why is mindset important? Now, <laughs> this is something that I had to deal with while, while I was going through all my, my, my change, I guess, like all my therapy and, all, and everything that happened with my wife. And, and I want to explain to you why mindset is important. Now, <laughs> one of the things that I didn't know for a long, long time. It's like, what is the meaning, the meaning of mindset though? I didn't know what was the meaning of it, but uh, the meaning of mindset is pretty much the established set of attitudes held by someone. So this is the attitude that we hold pretty much to ourselves and by ourselves to react to something or to do things, you know? And there's like different, there's two types of mindsets, which is the fixed mindset and the growth mindset. Now, here's the thing though, especially when you're a Spoonie. When you're a Spoonie, because of my own perspective and my own story of what I see with my wife, I think it's very important to have a growth mindset. Now, is it easy, especially when you're a Spoonie or you're going to something that it's hard? Absolutely not, absolutely not. It's not easy, but it can be achieved. And the reason why I say that is because I have been able to change my mindset a lot and I'm very stubborn. Like you can ask my wife, I'm very stubborn. So it was hard. It has taken me like three years. Yeah, I'm all, over three years to be able to get to a different mindset. So it's not going to be easy. Don't think that it's going to be easy because it's not going to be easy. It's actually going to be hard because one of the things that you have to do to change your mindset is literally you have to change your habits. You have to change your beliefs sometimes. You have to understand that you can learn. You have to understand. I mean, I mean at least that's in my case. I had to understand that I, I was able to learn new things. Uh, you have to understand that uh, you're not always right. You have to understand that that other people have other per, other people have different opinions and that other people have different points of view because when you do that then you start changing your mindset and then you start changing and seeing or changing your point of view which is very important especially when you're a, a, a spoonie because depending on what you're going through you might get stuck in that in the in a different mindset where it's like you know what nothing's gonna change everything is going to be the same and then it leads to negativity it leads to all these things that unfortunately will bring you down and and uh, and and unfortunately that's something that I see a lot and that's why I wanted to talk about it because I was there I was in that mindset for pretty much my entire life where I was like you know what I'll never be able to learn I'll never be something I'll never be this I'll never be that and life is against me you know like all that negativity because of of the way that I was raised but one of the things that I want to tell you this is why it's so important to have a growth mindset now this is what what I was able to find here um doing the research now having a growth mindset which is the belief that you are in control of your own ability and can learn and improve is the key to any any success in this situation because of the podcast uh, obviously we're talking about like in regards to our health so we can be successful in our health because we can actually get better to a point you might not be able to get a hundred percent better but hey five percent is five percent five percent is better than no percent right <laughs> so yes Hard work, effort, and persistence are all important, but not as important as having that underlying belief that you're in control of your own destiny. Now, that's having a growth mindset. And this is one of the things that 
I've seen with myself and with other Spoonies that we, we at least I, I know that I was lacking. I don't know if the other people that I know are lacking some of the growth mindset, but in my perspective or in my story, I was lacking it because I let other people t make the decisions for me. In this case, my mom, my uncle, my brother, all these people were making decisions for me when I wasn't taking control of my life. So if something didn't go according to plan, they will blame me and then they will make me feel bad. So that will actually make me be like, okay, I guess I have to listen to them because they're right and I'm wrong. And obviously that leads to depression, things like anxiety and, and a lot of things, which obviously we have talked about in the podcast. Now, like I was mentioning as well earlier, there are two types of, of mindset. Now, here's, the, here's something important that, that I want to say in this situation. People with a fat, I mean, people with a fixed mindset believe that these qualities are inborn, fixed, and unchangeable. Now, that's also something that I have seen a lot, and not just with Spoonies, uh, this is with a lot of people, even even if they're if they even if they're not spoony, they believe that that they're not they're never gonna get better. They're never gonna be something different. You know, like the, you believe that you're stuck in your life, and that's pretty much the way that it is, which is not true. That's something that that's why I wanted to talk about this because I was there, so I know how it feels. And probably if you're in that same situation. Uh, you you might be able to understand why sometimes you think the way that you that you think because of our mindset. Now, those with a growth mindset, on the other hand, believe that these abilities can be developed and strengthened by a way of commitment and hard work. Now, this is very important because that's why I I I like I would like to say that everybody needs to work on a growth mindset to grow. It's Especially when you're a spoonie, like I have mentioned before in other episodes, we have to be smarter than a doctor. Why? Because the doctor is not with us 24-7, uh, so they don't see all of our symptoms, they don't see all of our problems. So in order for us to become smarter than a doctor, we have to have a growth mindset. We have to understand that we can learn, we can read things that the doctor might not even think to read, you know? Like we have to, we have to see... Uh, things from a different perspective like, hey, this doctor is not with me all the time. He doesn't see me uh, like 24-7. They don't monitor me 24-7, so they don't know exactly what's going on. So if this doctor doesn't know what's going on with me, I need to figure out what exactly is going on with me. I'm not going to let this person take control of my life and tell me what I can or cannot do or what, how I should feel or if they believe me or not believe me because of my symptoms, like when I'm, when I'm in pain, things like that. And you know, doctors right now, unfortunately, for some reason, they don't believe Spoonies a lot. So that's one of the situations where you have to, you have, you might have to develop a, a growth mindset and say like, you know what? I'm gonna show you that I, what I'm saying is right. So I'm gonna do the research and when I go see you, I'm gonna have the facts. I'm gonna have all the evidence and you're gonna have to read it. That's why I did to one of my wife's doctors and let me tell you, they didn't like it, <laughs> which is fun. <laughs> now, <laughs> let's look at the difference between the fixed mindsets and the growth mindsets. Now, the fixed mindsets, these are children who are th taught that they should look smart instead of loving learning Instead of loving, learning tend to develop a fixed mindset. And they also become more concerned with more more concerned with how they are being judged and fear that they might not live up to expectations. That was me. That's exactly how I was. And I know that a lot of you guys probably were raised like that, or you guys know somebody that 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 was that is being raised like that. And and that's what that's why I decided to do the podcast because we have to change a lot of things. Like in order for us to be able to work together as a society or as a community and help each other grow, we have to change our mindsets and we have to change um, how we see each other. Like, you know, like it's like, hey, I can help you instead of judging you. And 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 one of the things that, that from my story is that kids, if you were raised by with a fixed mindset, 
when you become a spoonie for whatever reason, it could be an accident, it could be illness, it could be whatever is going on, you're gonna get you're gonna dig yourself into a hole. And I say that because that's pretty much what I did. When my wife got sick, I literally dig myself deeper into a hole because I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. Like nothing is gonna get better. And once I was all the way at rock bottom, then it something had to change and I had to change my mindset. So that's pretty much what 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 one of the things that at one point you might actually have to do. So that's what I'm saying. Like it's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be hard because you're gonna be fighting yourself. You're gonna be fighting everything that you were taught. You're gonna be fighting everything that you believe about yourself. So it's gonna be hard. Now, and the reason why we have to have a growth mindset as well, and it's because here's and and we also have to teach our kids. That's why I also want to to do like if me and my wife had kids at one point, this is how we'll raise them. Now, grow the kids with with growth mindsets. Or, I mean, in, in this situation, kids who are taught to explore, embrace new experiences, and enjoy challenges are more likely to develop a growth mindset. Rather than seeing mistakes as, as setbacks, they are willing to try new things and make errors all the time in the name of learning and achieving their potential. And that's one of the things that right now we we see mistakes or setbacks as as oh you're dumb i know that because that's pretty much what i was told my, my whole life like oh you made a mistake you're dumb or you made you you have a setback you're stupid you know things like that and and when you're a spoonie if you were raised uh by somebody who says something like that to you being a spoonie is going to be the biggest setback because you could be having a, a great career right now you could be having a great career and you have an illness, let's just say MS, which unfortunately is terrible, or fibromyalgia, or, or any type of, of illness right now, and what's gonna happen is that that's gonna set you back because you might have to quit your job, you might have to go into disability, you, you're you gonna have to do, change probably your entire life, so it's gonna be a huge setback. And without a growth mindset, if you have a fixed mindset, then, you're going to feel like a failure. But if you have a growth mindset or if you decide to change your mindset to a growth mindset, what's going to happen is that you're going to see this challenge and say like, okay, this is a challenge. How am I going, how am I going to work through it? And I know it's hard. And you can see the, the, the story that I have mentioned before, like Inky Johnson, who was ready to be in the NFL and, and a few games before the draft, he got injured. And he got injured and he lost the opportunity, but he, that didn't stop him. Nick Santon, I can't pronounce his name, his last name. I think it's Nick Santonarazzo. He was born with like genetic disorder that his body wasn't able to like fully develop, but still he's doing amazing. You know, like there's all, uh, all of these things, or I mean, all of these people that, that have faced some challenge and because of their growth mindset or the or the mindset that they had, they were able to to literally get through the challenge and live a better life. And that's pretty much what I'm trying to do on my own and why I want to show you that it can be done. Now, the other thing is like, what can we do? Somebody will ask this and, and somebody has asked me this, is like, what can we do to change our mindset? Well, that's that, that this is a very important question and, and what has helped me, it's pretty much to read about mindset, you know, to read about like self-development, to read and, and, and read autobiographies. One, one, one story that actually is, in my opinion, the most amazing one, it's, uh, it's about uh, Winston Churchill. I guess not a lot of people know here in the States that while everything was going on with World War II, he was dealing with bipolar disorder and depression. Now, when I when I heard that and I, and I read that story and and how he was able to like you know deal with with the Germans destroying the country and everything, I was like that must have been one of the hardest thing anybody can do because you're dealing with depression, you're dealing with bipolar. And yet you have to hold your head together. You have to 
hold everything together so you can actually save the country because you're the prime minister. So that's what one of the things that inspired me is like, oh my gosh, he was able to do it. So I know I can do it. So I've been reading about, you know, like Nelson Mandela. He was in, 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 in jail for 27 years. And when he got out, he wasn't even angry towards the people that pee on him, like the, the, the guards that pee on him. He wasn't even mad about that. He actually forgave them. So it's, it, it, to change your mindset, pretty much you have to read something that, that helps you expand, 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 expand your, your, uh, your idea, something that helps you expand your, your, your point of view to say that, oh, you know what, if this person can do it, I can do it too. Right now, one of the, the stories that is actually pretty good and I will recommend this book is the Walls Protocol from Dr. Terry Walls. And I think I have mentioned her in the, in the past again, where she was diagnosed with uh, um, MS, multiple sclerosis. She was getting to the point that she couldn't walk and she saw the challenge. She had to change pretty much her entire mindset and say like, hey, what's going on to my body? And because she's a doctor, obviously she had better opportunities to go to uh, to other centers and everything like that. But in reality, what she did is going to help a lot of people because she realized that what what was damaging her body is pretty much what uh, a lot of things that she was putting in her body. So she actually changed her 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 diet. She came up with the Walls Protocol, which is actually a diet. It's the paleo, paleo diet, and she's able to bike now. She's able to run. So she was able to do it. She went through the change. She went through the challenge. I mean, she went through the challenge with a, with a growth mindset and she, she decided to learn more about her, her condition, which was MS or which is MS. And then she was able to come on top. And that's pretty much what, what I know that I'm doing right now in regards to my PTSD and, and all my challenges. And that's one, one of the things that you might have to do at one point. Because it's not going to be hard. I mean, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard. But you have to understand that as long as you're willing to learn and and always see the positive side of things, you that's pretty much what, what will help you change your mindset. Like, remember, life, you might feel like life happens to you, but in reality, it happens for you. Everything, every day you can learn something new. Every day... Uh, with your illness, you can actually do some research every day. You can actually just read a little bit. That's what one of the things that I've been doing. I've been reading this um, right now. I'm reading Limitless by Jim Quick, who is actually okay. That's a good story as well to say about man mindset, because he was actually considered, or I mean, he was called by his teachers the kid with a broken brain because he had a. a a brain injury that left him pretty much unable to read faster or to understand things. And then he came up with a way to teach and learn faster. And now he teaches actors how to rem how to remember like entire scripts and he teaches CEOs and he does all of this. So that's a pretty good story as well because he, he saw the challenge and he's like, you know what, I'm going, and he even says it on his book, like he, he said, like, I'm going to read until I understand this and I'm going to learn. So that's actually a growth mindset because he's saying, he said to himself, like, you know what, I can do it. And he did. So that's one of the things that we have to look into. That's one of the things that, that, that you have to understand. And also if you're, if you're always reading something negative online and things like that, something that is negative or that makes you feel um, angry or, or gives you like a negative perspective of something, that's not going to help your mindset, especially if you're a spoonie. Because when you're a spoonie, we tend to be more of an empath. So we absorb everything, positive and negative stuff. So you got to be careful with that. And, uh, and that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about today on this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying the episodes. 
thank you for all your support again thank you for all your emails thank you for uh, for your comments uh, and your likes and thank you for everything thank you for your questions as well just keep sending me your questions and if you want to share your story or you want to send me a question that you want me to answer either via email or to an episode you can send it to me at the caregiver and spoonie at gmail.com. And also don't forget to share, like, and subscribe so we can grow the community. And also uh, don't forget to follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So thank you for everything. And, and I'll leave you like always. Always take care of yourself.